40 million years ago, in the ancient tropical forests, there were monkeys. Our monkey ancestors may have looked a little like this, tiny. In the tropical forests of Ecuador lives the pygmy marmoset, the smallest monkey in the world. It's the size of a hamster and hunts like a cat. watching, learning, and remembering. They're especially attentive on garbage day. Crows memorize the garbage truck routes, learning when the best time is to scavenge some succulent treats. So we're omnivores and we're social. And crows are omnivores. And sometimes we don't like the animals that have the same qualities as us. We don't like crows, because cr Waterman and his hawk Harriet to try to drive the are five months old, two males and a female. Krishna takes training her cubs seriously. Forty million years ago, in the ancient tropical forests, there were monkeys. Our monkey ancestors may have looked a little like this, tiny. In the tropical forests of Ecuador lives the pygmy marmoset, the smallest monkey in the world. It's the size of a hamster and hunts like a cat. Yet this monkey is closer to us than to cat or hamster. The eyes face forward and see in 3D and color and have a powerful brain behind them. Hands have fingerprints and claws are long fingernails. Being able to grasp physical objects also helps your understanding. You learn things are there, 
even if you can't see them. Navigating around a tree is more complicated than flat ground. A long time ago, the monkey mine turned to improving its world, and farming and warfare took root. Monkeys lived to... The mountains of America, Asia, and Europe are home to a giant mammal with a fierce nature. Hunting by day in the forests and rivers, its diet includes meat, berries, nuts, and fish. Full-grown males can reach 750 kilos in weight. They have large teeth and an exceptional sense of smell. Bears. This one has come to the river for an event that tests the athletic skills of predator and prey. Bears are instantly related to dogs, but they have long bodies, stocky legs, and they're much bigger. This river is a major highway for a very special fish. Every year, Pacific salmon race along these waters to breed. They have to leap enormous hurdles, and avoid being eaten by waiting predators. These salmon have been at sea for two years. Now they're returning upriver to where they were born. This adult grizzly bear has been waiting for the rich food to arrive. The salmon run is at its peak in June and July. These fish are an essential protein source for the bear. When the weather changes, there will be almost no food around. It needs to eat as much as it can if it is going to live through the long and icy northern winter. This is a race to the death for fish and bear. Only the fastest and strongest salmon will get past the line of bears. And only the bears who pack in lots of protein will be strong enough to survive when the snow closes in. Bears start training to be warriors when they're cubs. These two cubs spend most of their waking hours playing. They are developing the skills they need to be good fighters. They will need to win many fights if they're going to survive as adults. Bears don't just fight for food. They fight to defend territory and to win a mate. This young grizzly male is looking for his own territory. Bears are not very sociable. When they're not breeding, they usually live alone. But this territory has already been claimed. This time, the fight between the two bears is serious. If you have no territory, you have no food. The new bear is too small. He's not strong enough to win this time. The younger bear must come back when he's big enough to take on the larger male. This adult female is guarding a large carcass, and she's not about to share it. A wolf has picked up the scent of the kill. He is also hungry. The wolf is wary as he approaches the carcass. He is no match for the size and strength of the bear. They are apex predators. If the bear was injured, then the wolf might stand a chance. 
Like all her kind, she has become a well-trained warrior, and she will need to fight every day to survive.